Hey, this is Redman coming to you live from St. Louis at Helium Comedy Club for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up for Tony Hinchcliffe. St. Louis, come on, make some fucking noise. Wow, wow, wow. The great Brian Red Band's here, everybody. What's up, guys? And like that, we are live in St. Wow. Louis for the first ever time. We're the number one podcast in the world, everybody. Live, yeah. in front of a live audience. And we are cozy in St. Louis. It has already begun. We've already had a delicious pepperoni pizza from our friends over at Emo's Pizza. Huh? Yeah. Oh, wow, very yeah. impressive. I didn't realize the thin crust was even called St. Louis style. That's yeah. been you guys all along. One of our favorites. Oh, That's this great. lady just made a cringe face at Emo's Pizza. We already Uh-oh. have a hater. We've got a Domino's girl here. Yeah, we got a barbecue sauce. Wow, you said you're right. I know, I could tell. I Good could tell Lord. high class ladies Hell yeah. when I see one. Red, Red Band can look at a girl in her eyes once and know what kind of pizza she likes. And this show continues to go on the road, just like you probably found out about it through listening, and the show just keeps moving on. Next week, we're in West Nyack, New York, and then La Jolla, California, and then back to the Super Tour in the beginning of May, Phoenix, Arizona, Las Vegas, Nevada, Salt Lake City, Boise, Idaho, Spokane, Washington, Portland, Oregon, Vancouver, Canada, Seattle, Washington, and then we get a little break for a week. How about that? Oh. And then Lawrence, Kansas. How about that? It's not that far from you guys, huh? Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Iowa, Appleton, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Chicago, Illinois, Madison, Wisconsin, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Poughkeepsie, New York, and we close it out June 20th, New York, New York at the Gramercy Theater. And uh, then we're into Skank Fest and Kill Tony Mania and the Road to Kill Tony Mania. That's in San Francisco and Sacramento in October. And uh, But that doesn't stop us from being here right now. We have amazing, uh, only 30 Ryan J.E. Belt custom-made St. Louis prints available for sale after the show, which is really cool. Only 30. You can thank Ryan J.E. Belt himself for that. He went and drew that shit up himself and uh, laid it on us, and uh, we brought it here, so that's super easy. And you could bet that I'm going to snag a copy of those for myself. Oh, yeah? Bet? And, you know, hey, and speaking of betting, that reminds me. It's March Madness, and what's more fun than putting some cash on the game? Even if you don't like basketball, having some cash on the game makes it more fun. That's why I get in on the action at BetDSI.com, which has over 20 years in the business. They've built a fast reputation of payments, of winnings, and they have an easy-to-use and fast-playing interface. You can bet games as you go, live in-game wagering options throughout the tournament. And now is my favorite part, where Red Band tells us his picks for the week. Oh, yeah. Here's my picks. In sports, everybody. Yes. He's, he's never been wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never, not once. What well, do you got this week? I got Auburn will beat Virginia. Hey. St. Louis Cardinals will beat the Pad- Padres. <laughs> Texas Tech will beat Michigan State. St. Louis Blues will beat the Flyers. <laughs> and, of course, my favorite soccer team, the St. Louis FC, will beat the Birmingham <laughs> Legion. Yeah. Go to PetDSI.com and use the promo code KILL120 so they know we sent you. You can deposit, cash out, and get paid up until $1,000. They'll give you a 50% bonus on your initial deposit. That comes with a rollover requirement, but a 1000 bucks deposit will give you 1500 to play with. So once again, that's BetDSI.com, promo code KILL120. Okay, and then we roll along smoothly. Man, the, you know, I'm just so excited to be here. And, you know, these shows on the road, we never have a guest, and... Uh, and uh, But, you know, St. Louis, you're so goddamn lucky that we brought one more pal with us. And, uh, yeah, you're so lucky because he's one of my favorite human beings on the planet. He is the leader of the Kill Tony band. You never know what he's going to be or what he's going to do. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, he's got to stay in character throughout the show. Maybe it's a character we've seen before. Sometimes he debuts a brand new character. Let's see what it is tonight. It's the leader of the best damn band in the land, the Kill Tony Band, Jeremiah Watkins. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, I actually know who this is. (laughs) I'm Jack the Ripper. The famous 1700s, 1800s serial killer. 
from London, England, I believe, Jack the Ripper is joining us. Wow. I actually did a, uh, I did a show called The Historical Roast a couple weeks ago. We were all serial killers. I played Jeffrey Dahmer, and it's the first time I saw uh, Jack the Ripper, and uh, he destroyed in his performance, and his big catchphrase really won the crowd over. I'm Jack the Ripper. <laughs> He's Jack the Ripper. Well, Jack the Ripper, you are a killer, and you belong here on Kill Tony, and I'm excited that you're here. We have me, we have I'm going to kill Tony tonight. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, you have some the timing of a guy from the 1700s. <laughs> ha, what? <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Uh, which means uh, there's only one piece of the puzzle that's missing, and that's this motherfucking custom-made St. Louis Helium Comedy Club Bucket of Destiny. This is some fancy shit. Looks like somebody took some white out and ketchup and made this thing. <laughs> it has oh, the arch on it, right? There's an arch. Uh, Anybody want to take credit for making this out there? Who did that? Is that you? Well, that's, thank you very much, that's sir. That's awesome. Very cool. Thank you. It seems to be a new thing. We go to the city, a bucket shows up, and uh, very exciting. It definitely used to be something else, but right. uh, they made it for us. And, uh, you know, it's about the heart that counts. So... Mm. A lot of fucking people signed up. That's we have more sign-ups tonight than we had in all of Europe's shows combined times seven. Uh, so I think you guys might have an idea of how it works. If I pull your name out of the bucket, you get a chance to perform on this stage. 60 seconds uninterrupted. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry St. Louis the Grove Bear. There we go. We got it right that time. Just to let you know, you got to be safe. There's a very special uh, type of path that you need to take to get here, and it's right down right the down middle tonight. Middle. So it's very important. A lot of times people will panic. They'll start bumping into people's tables and drinks and whatnot. Don't do that. Just try to find your way calmly and at once right down the fucking middle. Yeah. Go right of Kenny Rogers in the second row here. So. Which one's Kenny Rogers? You calling the old guy Kenny Rogers? You call him fucking Dick Cheney, Kenny Rogers yeah. right now? It's giving him some swagger. I, I love Roaster Red Band. It's always like, I'm like curious. Yeah, right, this fucking guy, this young congressman. What the fuck are you doing here? Which one of your sons brought you here tonight? Right behind you? That's right. You have no idea what the fuck you're at. Dude, who knows? You might be performing by the end of this bitch. I don't know what's happening. Who wants to see this fucking old guy get up here and eat shit tonight? All right, we'll give you some time to think about it. We'll give you some time. You'll, I, you don't think you could do it now, but after you see how these people do, you, you're going to... How many of you like it when comedians do good on this show, huh? How many of you like to see people bomb? Wow. wow. This is an evil audience, guys. <laughs> Even Jack the Ripper looks scared. <laughs> What do you think about that, Jack? I, I like this audience. That's all. <laughs> Very good. Hey, let me just say this now, because I feel a little heat coming down the fucking dark middle there. Uh, just a reminder, there's no, uh, there's no heckling the performers or anything like that. If you didn't have the balls to sign up and the luck to get picked out of the bucket, you don't get to interrupt anybody or anything that's happening here tonight. Dims the rules. And uh, you guys ready to start this motherfucker or what? I pulled a name out of the bucket. Make some noise for your first comedian of the night. His name, or her name, is Jordan Bond. Here we go. Here he comes. Right down the middle. All right. Time for Jordan Bond, everybody. Here we go. Well, hello. This is Nerve Wracking. My name is Jordan Bond. I am 34 years old, and I'm bald. So we'll get that out of the way. My biggest fear is really that a full moon would turn me into a werewolf, but I continue to stay bald up top, <laughs> which is actually really just how I feel when I take my shirt off nowadays. You see, everything kind of m migrated south years ago. So... When I first started to shave my head, though, I shaved everything, my face and my beard. Lather it all up, cut it down, but then people would be like, ooh, how's your cancer? 
Or I'd be like, uh, you know, so I grew this beard out, and then they go, hey, nice, uh, nice hipster beard. Well, no, this is not a hipster beard. This is a last resort. This is a Hail Mary, and Mary's going gray. But I never got the pool like a Jack the Ripper, cool Jeremiah Watkins, hey guys, put my hair behind my ear sort of thing. Never got to put my hair down in water, fling it up behind me, all cool. I actually tried that joke earlier in my bathroom, and my glasses went th- all across the room because there was no friction. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. A little bit of Nelly from Jack the Ripper, huh? You guys hear that? Represent? I like that. Find me in St. Louis. Doing a show called Kill Tony. Hey! So, Jordan. I did my research. <laughs> so, Jordan, uh, first time doing stand up comedy? First time, yes, sir. Oh, very good. There it is. The goat of the first time. Yes. Heck yeah, just a little baby. Yes. Just like the top of your head, like a baby's bottom. Smooth. Wow. So, uh, how long ago did you shave your head? I did it this morning, so I, my jokes would work. <laughs> I'm like a twice a week or two times a week. No, I wasn't really asking when the last time you shaved was. Oh. I was looking more for the first time you oh, shaved. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The first time... Can uh, you apologize been, one more time for I'm me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a while. I, I like was, uh, it's, been, it's been a while. It's been like seven, eight years ago at least. <laughs> wow. It's so been a while. What happened? Did you, 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 you're married? You got a ring on your I'm finger? I'm married, yeah. Did you get married before... I was thinning. You I was thinning. thinning. Then I had, you, then you the, locked her in. See, my hair's... Right. Like, I started... Ha ha, you married fucking Walter Whitebread. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I had a couple of guys at work that shaved their head, and they came up to me one day, and they go, hey, we were talking over the weekend about guys that uh, were going bald and should shave their head, mm-hmm. and we thought, uh, you should just do it. What are you waiting for? Don't you have friends? Mm-hmm. And I thought, okay, well, I shaved my head, and it felt good. Now, you use this as what appears to be your main identity. You could have written about anything uh, in the world, and you chose your minute all on shaving your head and what you can do with a shaved head and what you can't do with a shaved head. I thought I would stay in my comfort zone for tonight. That way, in case my mind... What are your pubes like, Jordan? What are your pubes like? Let's get into the good shit. The carpet matches the drapes. So you're the only only hair on your balls? Yeah, red, (laughs) red ball hair? Only the bottom of the ball sack goes unshaved. Exactly. Very good. Do you have a little pair of glasses for your dick, too? Yeah. <laughs> a little dick hole? Jack? Bonicle? I line it. I Jack mean, the line. Ripper. Yeah, why does he look like one of the Guess Who characters from the board game? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know they had Do that. you have glasses? Yes. Do you have a beard? I know who you are. Story of my life. Two, Story of my life. Just two features. That's it. That makes up this person. Two features. Glasses, beard, we're done here. Checkmate. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't realize they had Guess Who in the 1700s. Oh, okay. yeah! <laughs> Do you want me to stick him? Because I will. I'll kill him right here. Oh, I'll kill him right yeah, here. He had a little sword. Uh, it's oh incredible. God. So, Jordan Bond, let's talk about it. Uh, is that your real name? Yes. Bond. Yes. Jordan Bond. That's right. Really? Are you in any way like uh, the great, uh, perhaps, uh, James Bond or anything? Yeah. What's the most... <laughs> yeah, what's the most? What's the most James Bond thing about you? What's, like, your, like, coolest, you know, he has fucking nice watches and fancy cars. Not... Not too much. Know, okay. What's like, a, what's, like, something that you're good at? What's the James Bond thing of you? There's a James Bond quote where he said, I don't know that much about guns, but I know a lot about women. So is, that true? That is that true? Is that true about you? That might have been true of Jordan with hair in his early teens and uh, what did he 20s. know about what did he know about women? Was tell us, tell us. Would did Jordan have any special sex no. sexual maneuvers he would do on a girl or anything like that? Yeah, how many Not women one. you porked, huh? <laughs> how question. many? None. Yeah, about you've half never... as many as you've killed. You know, Jordan over here, you sorry. son of a bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't play with Jack the Ripper. How many, uh, how many women have you uh, port? I don't know. I really, I have actually, I've been with my... I feel I, like you know. I really honestly don't know. <laughs> I feel like you know the exact number. I Rhymes like, with four. Right. Begins with an F. 
No, I feel like I knew that answer a long time ago, but I've been married for a little while, been with my wife for a while. I honestly do not know the number. Is your wife okay. here tonight? She's not here tonight, no. Uh, What's funny Ripper. is... Yeah. Check the Ripper. Check the Ripper. All right, so uh, your last name is Bond. I think we should play out a scenario. I'm a, I'm a cute dame at the bar, right? Yep. <laughs> yep. Are you buying it yet? Yes. Okay, perfect. So you she- come up to me. You're yeah. Mr. Bond. Yeah, what yes. do you say? Show, show us how you would do it back when you Red had Red band cue music. Back when you had hair. Thank you, Jack the Ripper. Uh, so, like, back when you had hair, you see a beautiful woman at the bar. She just so happens to uh, look like the Baba Duke for some reason. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, and uh, so there you go. Go ahead. Make your move, Jordan. Show us what you would do back in the day. Pretend like no one else is here. Back in the day. Hey, so, uh... I feel like, though, if I were to pull a James move, James Bond move, I would really just slap her. <laughs> All right, Jordan, Jordan, over here. Did you what j- did I tell you about playing with fucking Jack the Ripper? I would stick him right here, right now. You gave me the word, Downey. Come on, Jordan. Give us like a pickup line that you would use on a woman back in the day. You gotta have something. I feel like you got something up your sleeve here. I really. What would you say if I was your wife? Yeah, there you go. Sure, let's play that game. Since clearly your okay. wife, your wife's not here. Podcast, I'm your wife. Sure. Ding ding. Let's go. I'd say. There you go. All right. I'm trying to help you out here, mate. All right, babe. The kids are in bed. It's Thursday at 8.35. Can we do something? <laughs> wow, Jesus. Your pickup line is, can we do something? <laughs> well, these... That didn't work back in the day. That's not going to work yesterday. That's not going to work today, mate. It works, Jack. My God, Jordan, I felt like your line to your wife came from a very real place, huh? <laughs> Jeez, the kids are in bed. Can we please do something? Like, right. that's where you start? That's your first yeah. line. It's like, God, can anything happen? I mean, how literal can this guy get? My penis is throbbing. What do I do with it? Let's go. Yeah, my goodness, Jordan. Well, how old are your kids? I have a three-and-a-half-year-old and a one-year-old. Wow, what do you do for work? My father, I work uh, in a family oh, you, business. Oh, your dad, you no, only no, no, work no, no, for no, your no. dad. You don't have to try to fix it after you say, my father. We're in a Unless family. you're about to start the fucking prayer or whatever. Uh, I guess that's our father, not really my father. I guess to show you, 12 years of fucking Catholic school, I didn't pay attention for a sec. My father, who are never... Oh, yeah. My dad actually my is a uh, pastor. Is it. What? Your dad's a pastor? My dad is a pastor, but I don't work for my dad. I work... Uh, sure, I, so yeah. Pack- your dad's a, is, it, is it really, or does the pastor just make you call him daddy? Oh. I don't know if I said that correctly. Yeah. Come on, wife. Can we please do anything? (laughs) I feel honored. This is nice. Of course, man. Well, you did it. You know, you came up here for your first time. You took it like a champ. You got the show uh, kick-started tonight. We're off and running. There he goes. Jordan Bond, everybody. (laughs) Yeah. We're off and running. All right. You guys get it already? Look at these weird pieces of paper. We wow, have really long. In St. Louis, we call them long and thin, just like our pizza. Just spread it out and fucking stomp it. <laughs> we want it to... It's like some Willy Wonka shit. It appears as though we found our winner. All right, we're going to get a lady up here. Make some noise for Angela Smith, everyone. <laughs> Angela Smith, everybody. Hi. Oh, I'm scared to death. Hi, guys. I am from Missouri, where our state bird is just a garage door blowing off in a meth lab explosion. (laughs) I heard you guys had emos today. That has Provel cheese. I'm like Provel cheese. Nasty as hell, and you have no idea what I'm made of. (laughs) I'm kidding, you guys. Uh, I'm more like the Applebee's of women. That's fine, I'm not gonna be your first choice that night, but I'm gonna get the job done. Also, your grandparents are gonna love me. 
I'm kidding, you guys. I'm the white castle of women. I'm a great idea when you're drunk, but give me like 15 minutes, I'll make you shit your pants. Okay? Is that good? Is that fine? <laughs> Meow. That's a minute right there. Angela Smith. Wow. I think everybody's really interested now, Angela. I think you have everyone's attention. Can I just say this is the hottest kindergarten teacher I've ever seen? Yeah, I mean, this chick is wild, it seems. Thank you. Are, you. you are a lot like Applebee's because I would not want to come inside of you. <laughs> oh, my. Tony. Can I keep that tag? Sure. Thank I you. I guess so. That's a gift. Thank I you. I guess so. But I get to use it every time I see you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We Angela, can... how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, two years. Two years. That yeah. was great. Oh, great. All here in uh, All here in St. Louis or Missouri? Uh, what are we St. talking about? St. Louis? I went to Little Rock one time. That was wild. <laughs> but yeah, St. Louis. Little Rock. Arkansas. You live there? No, I live here. Oh. About 10 minutes. Just hook up here. with a guy named Little Rock or something? <laughs> I missed it. It's yeah, like he's like The Rock, but he's little. Yeah. He's a Do you <laughs> smell what I'm cooking in the basement? <laughs> I don't know. It's so stupid. Little Rock. Just on one hey, hot on plate. Rock. Yeah. All right. Good. Angela, What's so that? you've been doing it two years. Yeah. Uh, what do you do for a living? I work uh, for big dog food. I work for a dog food company. Wow. Woof, woof. You're the, you're the face of a dog food company? <laughs> I... This is it. My goodness. How long have you been uh, working for a dog food company? Also about two years. <laughs> wow. Jeez, your whole years. life changed two years ago, it huh? Really did. You're like, fuck this. I'm getting into comedy and dog food. <laughs> what do you do there for? Like tester or? Uh, no, I work for a... <laughs> <laughs> I bet a lot of your uh, male coworkers are begging for it. <laughs> Vegan strips? No, nothing really. Just nothing. a half a. Nothing. A lot of people in that section got that one, I guess. I'm getting fired. I'm getting fired tomorrow. Oh, it's no, no. There's <laughs> no way. No, there's no way. They might make you uh, get down on all fours and eat something <laughs> out of a bowl, but. <laughs> anyway. Like so. now, during sex, are you like dog food? Are you wet or dry? <laughs> I think it's uh, I think it's proper to be both. <laughs> right. so I'm a mix. Real doggy style, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just fucking plowing it out. <laughs> uh, Angela, do you have a boyfriend? Uh, no, not as of my, wow. uh, two Mondays ago, no. Wow, um, what happened two Mondays ago? I, I know we had a great episode at the comedy store in L.A., <laughs> but what were you doing? Right. Well, I broke up with my boyfriend, and at 33 years old, I moved back in with my dad. Wow, so, thank you. heck yeah. Yeah, thank you, guys. What made you break up with a boyfriend? How did he end up the one in the doghouse out of the two of you? <laughs> right? It's my house, too, right? Wow. That's crazy. I'm going to move back in this weekend, I think. So Move back in? To my house that I pay for. This got sad. Let's no, not no, make... no, 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 no. I'm Angela, fine. We'll, we'll let you know when it got sad. <laughs> you, don't, you don't get to make that call. You don't get to play the game and be the referee at Good, the I'm same not... time, all right? I'm they not sad. That's a foul. That's a foul. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about it. Why did you break up with him? It was just How long like were you with them? Three years. Three years. And then what? Wow, that's 12 years in dog years. <laughs> <laughs> or is it 21? I don't know. It's one of those. You get a joke. Uh, you get it. It was funny either way, really. Yeah. This is the fun part of the show where it's like I, we find out real interesting real life things about you. But it's so boring. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it was you just don't a, get to make that call. <laughs> Again. What you think is boring, you know, and us, different things. Right. Uh, no, we just grew apart. That's all. Yeah. When you say grew apart, what are we talking about here? Like, are we talking you about... You grew onto a black guy? <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hello. You can find me in St. Louis. <laughs> Hell yeah. Did you get some of that fucking... What? <laughs> <laughs> What was the question? Did you find? Did you? Would, are you interested in somebody else? You know, one thing that uh, <laughs> us men have all noticed is that women don't usually move on from a man unless they have found somebody that they have their eyes on. So, for example, like, is there someone in the comedy world or something? 
No, that sounds weird like I'm fishing for me, but I'm not because no. you guys don't know how the fucking is... horny these comedians are when they Who get around. Who put you up to this? Who DM'd you before this? No, uh, no, I realized that I'm 33 and I've never gotten to use Tinder. And what kind of life is that? I've just never gotten to swipe on anybody. How can I be a real comedian if I have no jokes about Tinder? Wow. wow. Oh, you guys no. get it? You get it? No. Actually, I don't even know what <laughs> Tinder is. I have no idea. People still what use you're Tinder. talking about, really. I'm the wrong so did guy. You get, did you get on Tinder? I did. I got on Tinder and the one with the B. What's the Bumble? The Bumble. So, uh, what's happened since you got on it? Nothing. <laughs> really? <laughs> they want you to pay them money. <laughs> I don't want to oh. do that. I don't, wow. I'm not paying for dates. That's you sex th- work. Wow. You should join and my. And that's respectable and it's fine, but I'm broke. I'm not doing it. You yeah. should join my dating app called Slit. We have a passionate <laughs> night of lovemaking. Then I slit your throat at the end of the night. I dump your body and your parents find you years later and they never find out who did it. I'm Jack the Ripper. There you go. You know, Is it free? <laughs> you know, yes. if, if you could just go on Craigslist, people will pay you money. <laughs> Angela, you don't even need to do that. All you have to do is find an arcade bar and <laughs> sit down. That's it. <laughs> Just let all those fucking little cocks come to you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, uh, what's up? You look like me. (laughs) (laughs) That's good advice. I'm going to take it. What do you like to do for fun when you're not doing stand-up comedy? Uh, You know, what's something like when you you let your hair down? You know what I mean? And you... I feel like you're one of those chicks that, like, when you hook up with a guy, you take your glasses off and you (laughs) turn into, like, a super hot chick out of nowhere, right? (laughs) Wait, I'm gonna do, are you ready? Can we try? Wait, yeah, wait, okay. let's do it. Do you have... Okay. I just did it. I thought I just can't see anything. Wait, do I have to do the hair with the eye candy? Oh, no. It? Put it's them back on. Them Put on. them back on. Them on. They're filthy. My glasses are filthy. I'm a mess. I don't know if you're got... aware of this. As soon as you took your glasses off, you went so cross-eyed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, I'm going to level with you. I'm on so many muscle relaxers right now. I got in a car accident last night. Really? It was so bad. I didn't cause it. I was in an Uber, and a car hit us so hard. And so I am on uh, muscle relaxers. What kind of muscle relaxers are you? I don't know what they're called. Wow, that's how addiction starts for sure. I don't even know what they're called. I just know I need more. (laughs) Yeah, you said so many. You know you just take one. It said I I could take two. And then they're like, also take the Tylenol with the codeine. And I was like, who am I to argue with medicine? Angela, you did fine up here. What are you making excuses for? What's going on right now? I just wanted to level with you. (laughs) Well, uh, in that case, uh, you're probably uh, probably funnier on muscle relaxing. (laughs) did good up here tonight. It was a good set. Thank you. Talking about... Uh, Applebee's, App- White Castle. Yes, Applebee's. All my when, hobbies. When you say the White Castle thing, like, what exactly do you mean by... What did you say? Shit your pants? Oh, like, yeah. Like, Just how, give how, me how, like, how do you make a guy shit his pants? How many fingers do you shove in a butthole to... I just... I feel like that's, like, second... You find that out, like, you have to take me out first. I'm not just gonna tell you that. Really? Take you out to Applebee's? Yeah. No, to White Castle. Well, to wherever. I don't care. We can go to Chili's. We could go up. I don't care. Oh, right. Chili's. Jesus. <laughs> wow, you're getting out of control. You went, you went from muscle relaxers to methamphetamines real quick there. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing big deal. I don't know. I'm going to make sure you're bad. Uh, so, okay, last thing. Yes. If you're at a bar, you're single for a few weeks, you're on muscle relaxers, <laughs> you see Jack the Ripper sitting there. And just so turns out, you're like, oh, my God, I've always wanted to hook up with uh, the penguin from Tim Burton's Batman. <laughs> Right, and then so so, what would that be like? Give it a shot. Hit on Jack the Ripper. Okay. I'd be like, hey, I don't have as many cats as you think. <laughs> Can I see your pussy? <laughs> there you go. We did it again, Angela Smith, ladies and gentlemen. She's on Twitter at Angela Marie85. What song was that? It was Air Force One by <laughs> Nelly. You're gonna get a lot of Nelly tonight. <laughs> you didn't hear it. <laughs> Make some noise for your next comedian, Ben Wade, everyone. Here we go. 
Ben Wade. Ben Wade. Here we Here go. Comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Ben Wade, ladies and gentlemen. One more time. There you go. Can I set that there? I did it. Yay, another white person. Uh, I'm bald, too. I'm just wearing a hat. Uh, I'm getting very old. And uh, I'm 36 now, so my back hurts a lot. And uh, when I get off the toilet, it hurts my back, too. I also started paying attention to the commercials that are on during uh, Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> There's... Most of them are just things for, like, lidocaine patches for your back, which I bought. And, uh, like, mesothelioma cancer-style commercials. So, when I'm getting older, I've noticed that uh, I get so easily annoyed, very quickly. One thing that annoys the shit out of me is when people go full-on accent. Let me explain. I don't mean, like, people that are native speakers of that language and they live here. I mean, oh, okay. Go ahead. I mean, like, people like my neighbor, Mike. Mike is super white. Um, he's clearly Ancestry.com, full Nordic. And he says things like, uh, my family went to vacation to uh, Guadalajara, Mexico. <laughs> so I'll cut her there. There you go. All right. Cuts it there. Ben Wade. Must be the cash. Must be the money. All right. Oh, I got it wrong. Ben Wade, uh, there you are. Uh, you did it. First time ever doing stand-up, correct? There you go, yes. for sure. Yep. With the Shaking. goat answered before you did. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, unbelievable. That minute is long yet oh, Jesus, fast it's long. at the same time, right? Yeah. Moves fast. It does. Well, I've always wondered what it would be like if Kiefer Sutherland had a bad back. And uh, you are answering that question. If he had perhaps 24 extra discs in his back. Count them. So, Ben, what yeah. the fuck happened to your back, dude? You tell us about this bad back, yet you give us no information about it whatsoever. I think it all happened uh, when I started gaining weight. So I got a bit of a gut, and then it pulled forward, maybe. Is that now? Yeah. This is you fat? I'm like 30 pounds beyond what I will used to be. Oh, so. yeah. You're so fat. Your back is breaking out of all that weight. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you asked it's me to probably, give you It's a probably theory. a bad, like, a, uh, do you have a bad, like, bed? Or do yes, you, absolutely. Well, there you go. You, and I sit all day at work. Yeah, well, then you have a bad <laughs> bed. It's not because you're fat. Did you see how mad you made Red Band? He, I'm he, sorry, Brian. He lugs all that extra weight around. He doesn't complain about yeah. his fucking back. Yeah. Well, self a Tempur-Pedic, Ben. Let me get one. What kind should I get? Uh, I just said what kind you should get. I said Say Tempur-Pedic. Self a Tempur-Pedic. Oh, I've heard do of those. Do you not even understand the sounds of a good mattress? <laughs> My back Can hurts so bad. Can you not so make bad. out the noise? I'm trying. What do they sound like? What do you sleep on? Oh, my a God, an awful mattress. But then I have one of How those... How old's your bed? <sighs> Did you just fart? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Come on. Older than I can tell you how old it is, so... So have old. you had it your whole life? <laughs> no. <laughs> is that how you laugh? It's, yeah. <laughs> is your bed frame a racing car? I would love it if it was. Okay. It's an Ikea. Oh, God. Do they make a racing car? Ikea has, like, the worst beds ever, and you've had it forever. It was inherited, so... Let's get a Casper or something. Uh, all right, all right. Well, I, I'm glad that we're com. having a full-blown just conversation now. Uh, ben, I mean, yes. uh, you, you, you look like you stay warm by standing in alleyways with barrel fires in them. <laughs> like, I mean, what do, what do you do for a living? I do IT work. IT a, work, really? Uh, the, yes. What, what, the, what lumberjack.com <laughs> type of IT work are you doing? Do you know doing? someone there? Can I get in there? You son of a bitch. Jack yeah. the Ripper. Yeah, he sells computers at the docks. <laughs> <laughs> the docks. <gasps> oh, my God. It looks like you use the dating app Plenty of Fish. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ben, what exactly do you do IT-wise? Like, what are we talking about here? My official title is... Yeah, what is, is it exactly boring. that you do? Well, uh, I'm shut up, love. <laughs> okay. I'm Jack the Ripper. I'll slit your <laughs> okay, throat Jack. in broad daylight. Jack, relax a little bit. Take a breath, Jack. Take a breath. 
I just do field tech work, so if computers or phones, analogs or digital phones break, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I build robots. Wow. Okay. Uh, w- what else are you into, Ben? You from here in St. Louis? I born am. and bred? Born and bred. Yeah. What I part? Like North County, Ferguson area. There you go. A lot of big fans. A lot of other white people. Oh, nice. You seem like you could be uh, the type of guy to uh, not like other races. Um, Cause I'm bald. No. You can't see it. I just no, have that. No, it's air? not just that. It's How sort of dare everything. you? It's sort of like the light eyebrows. I think really, it does not. <laughs> yes. I, I, didn't, I didn't even really know you were bald. It's I mean, cursed. could we could we see it without the hat yeah. to see? Uh oh. Wow. There's a little bit of a race thing going hey. on there. Wow. It's a curse, and goddamn it, it's not fair. Uh, what are your thoughts on black people? I love them. What are your thoughts on Mexicans? Love them. All right. How about uh, Italians? Love them. Jews? Love them. Did you just turn into a 12-year-old boy on Jews, bro? I love them. Love them. Putting them on trains. How Jeez. dare you? Wow, Ben, what happened, dude? I walked into that, though. That's what happened. <laughs> hey, it's St. Louis, not St. Jewy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah, shit. I hope I don't get fired for this. How would you get fired? What's the, what's the, why would you get fired for that? I don't know. The wrong person could see it and get offended. You Ooh. know. Wow. The culture. I guess so. No, it's not really. A.K.A. Not. your boss. <laughs> Is your boss Jewish? No. What race is your boss? He's the human race, Brian. Wow. wow. Good answer. Yeah. That was a trick question. Yeah. Good answer. All right. Well, Ben, uh, what else, man? This is your first time doing it. What made you want to come out and sign up tonight? Oh, I just love this podcast, and I feel like this is the master class, so if I'm going to learn, Hell yeah. learn from the best. Well, there you go. Well, you started there, my friend. You got to just keep plowing it out, get to those punchlines, and fucking... You keep doing open mics regularly. Get it started. Thank you guys very much. There he goes. Thanks. Ben Wade, everyone. Yeah, yeah. He's on Twitter at the fake Ben Wade. That's, uh, that's uh, his stick. Yeah. What is that? Sorry is that about the that. Mic stand? Can you grab that stick, my man? What happened? No, he oh. put his stick in there. Oh. How did that happen? <laughs> All right. Jack the Ripper's a prankster. <laughs> There he goes, Ben Wade. Let's try to get somebody up here that doesn't look like an unhealthy Conor McGregor. Uh, does everybody just have the same fucking, hey, I have a beard and a bald head. Who would have guessed? Let's see what happens next. Make some noise for Jake Williams. Here we go. We are live. This is crazy. It's a big dark room. Ooh, Dude, Jake Williams we already have got scared. Oh man! Wow, we already have our Balled first. Balled up in a bundle. Oh shit! This is a guy that must be afraid to uh, have to hit on Jack the Ripper. Our first point. blacklisting. There you go, blacklisted. Sure, whatever you want to call it. On to the next one. How about J C Sabala, everybody? J C. Sabala. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Here he comes. Hell yeah. One more time for JC, everyone. All right. I'm a, I'm a single father. And uh, I have, my son, he's one-fourth Filipino. Uh, I don't know if anybody's familiar with different like ethnic slang, but there's a slang word for Filipino. It's flip. All right, so Flip is Filipino, uh, but he's only one four, so he's a quarter Flip, uh, which is a huge coincidence, because that's how we decided we were going to keep him in the first place. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are applauding that. Normally I get groans on that. I'm like, oh, calm down. He made it, all right? <laughs> Don't feel bad for him, all right? Feel bad for his sister. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, I'm half Filipino, if uh, you didn't figure that part out. 
Uh, I'm half Filipino, or as it's more commonly known here in the Midwest, uh, Mexican. <laughs> Boom. Boom. That's it. You get it. Three applause breaks. 60 seconds. JC Sabala. Well, yeah, we're going to talk okay. for a bit. Yeah. I didn't hear. <laughs> oh, Sorry. it's all good. So. Is everything, every, everything's okay? You feel good after that? Yeah, I feel You've been all doing right. stand up a while, right? Uh, almost eight years. Almost eight years. Yeah, Unbelievable. You can tell. I mean, that's exactly what this show's about. A mishmash of different types of people. We had a lot of people's first time. We had someone that's been doing it a couple of years, and then you come in and slay it and show that, uh, you know, experience pays off. You can yeah. look like uh, Wario and come up here and fucking <laughs> decimate. <laughs> uh, wow, eight years. All here in St. Louis? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is so. this where you were born and raised? Uh, I grew up in Kansas. Yeah. And uh, I moved here. You know who else grew up in Kansas, even though you eventually moved to England and started killing people? <laughs> I'm Jack the Ripper. <laughs> so, JC, how old are your kids? Uh, my son's about to be five years old. How old's uh, your ghost baby? She, she would be three. Wow. There you go. She needs... That's what you think Filipino... Uh, all right. Ghost babies. That's as ghost close baby. as we're going to The get. gong of the ghost baby. Mm. <laughs> uh, hell yeah. So, JC, uh, what else do you do? Uh, I sell large format printing. So, like, if anybody needs, like, custom wallpaper or anything. That's I badass. think Helium could actually use some. You should yeah. try to get a deal... Look at this dog shay. Let's let all of our children come in and do the paint job. Uh, this is great. I use my thumb. My goodness. Oh, all right. So do you do like wraps for cars type printing or just mostly? We, we can do that. Uh, we can do small format also. But I do, like, I'll teach a lot of seminars for uh, like architects and interior designers. Oh, cool. And they'll get credits for their different certifications like AIA or IDCEC. Heck yeah. Well, that's, that's awesome. That's CDICC, yeah, I love yeah, yeah. that, you know. And I, when I looked up the paperwork on that, I was very impressed. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a whole thing. Uh, any problems with your, with your five-year-old? Anything you already can't stand about him? Uh, no, he's, he's a lot of fun. He's, yeah. uh, he's rowdy. He's all boy. But, uh, he's, he's what? He's all boy. What like, does that mean? It's all boy. Not one of That's how he identifies. <laughs> he's uh, he identifies as a boy. Like he's like he's like good. Yeah. He's like grabbing like little frogs and shit already. And uh, he's what, doing what to frogs? Like grabbing frogs, like grabbing showing frogs? up. Yeah. I got a frog, Dad. Yeah. I got a frog. I got a frog, Dad. Wow, that's so fucking cool. <laughs> that do you, is so do you cool. cook up the frog? You know, like after you. Never mind. Does he play Fortnite? <laughs> no, not yet. Anyway, uh, Jesus, I didn't realize you had secret Fortnite ad reads you were sliding into the show. Does he play Fortnite? Does he want to? Oh, it's just weird. Like, my nephews are just addicted to that game, and they're, like, yeah. the same age, like, yeah. six, seven years old. And it's like, how the fuck are they even playing this shit? It's, yeah. It seems yeah. young. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> Man, JC. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I'm not going to waste a lot of your time up here because you seem like a grown-ass man that's been doing stand-up for eight years, and I nice. respect that. But uh, I will invite you if you want. Uh, you got plans for tomorrow night? Uh, no. I have, uh, I, we, uh, we have two shows here that we're doing tomorrow night. Sure. Uh, I'm doing a long set. These two guys are going up. Uh, if you want to do five minutes to kick Perfect. the shows off tomorrow, that'd be great. There you go. J.C. Sabala, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow, buddy. There he goes. We'll be kicking off tomorrow's stand-up shows. Catch me, Jeremiah, and Redman. A lot of, uh, a lot of tickets still available for this weekend's uh, stand-up shows. I asked the owner of the club what the deal with that was. He says that... Uh, he says that, uh, that uh, all right, forget it. I won't actually say what he said. I won't say what yeah, he said. Yeah, uh, even Jack the Ripper was like, you might not want to say this next thing. <laughs> I still want to keep killing people at different comedy clubs. <laughs> so, <laughs> he said something about how white comedians don't sell the best in St. Louis. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. 
Maybe it wasn't the owner. Maybe it was someone that works for the, the owner. dishwasher. Right? Yeah, it was the dishwasher. So prove them wrong and come see us yeah. later this weekend. Exactly. Four shows, two Friday, two Saturday. They are the lowest ticket counts, uh, if you're wondering, I've ever had in my career. So uh, <laughs> even once before, I did St. Louis, like, uh, how long ago was that? Two years. Nah, uh, it was at least three years ago. They opened but, three years ago. <laughs> All right, put your hands together for your next comedian, Jimmy Stealth, everyone. Jimmy Stealth. Jimmy Stealth. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, here he is, Jimmy Stealth, everybody. Come on. (laughs) Thanks, everybody. Maybe suicide is the answer. Like, everybody just all of a sudden says, don't kill yourself, don't do that, don't do this, it's not the way, but technically, we don't know. (laughs) That's like the first question, the first human being that ever stood on two feet and took three steps, that was the first question. We still have an answer. We got Mars getting mapped and space uh, rockets going off, we still don't know what happens. Maybe this is the bad place, and that's the cool place to be. Maybe aborted fetuses are the luckiest people in the world. Maybe they're over there and they're like, yeah, we never had to be here at all. (laughs) Maybe there's an old guy who lived to be 100 and he's over there like, oh, I'm so old. I hate being over here. I wish I could have been over there a lot less time. (laughs) Maybe volunteer suicide hotline people are just a bunch of haters that don't want us to party all the time thank you wow wow Wow. jimmy let me start i love the show thank you well let me just start off by saying uh you're one of the my favorite people i've ever seen on this show in its entire history Thank you. A, a lot of people are fundam- uh, more, perhaps more fundamentally sound. Perhaps their jokes get bigger uh, things. But I think I would literally pay to see you. <laughs> like, I, I, okay. I, I had no idea what you were going to say next. And it was compelling the entire time. And I Thank absolutely you. fucking loved it. Thank you. Thank you yeah. very much. Very awesome. original. Sure. There you go. I got a little high You guys are my here. favorite. I watch the- you every week. Yes, uh, Jack the Ripper. Yeah, can I just say that it's really nice to finally have two serial killers up here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Definitely. Slash, Definitely that. slash the Ripper. He slashed the Ripper. It right. is weird. Uh, this is, uh, I've always wondered what Jason Voorhees looked like behind the mask. And uh, I guess I don't know who that is. right now. You're a scary looking dude. You look like you drive uh, like NASCARs in fields love at night. NASCAR. I love NASCAR. You, you look like you do? Yes. Jimmy Johnson, number 48, is my favorite driver. Wow. That's before all the trophies. You're such a NASCAR fan. You're starting to uh, look like one. I should have been. I wish I was. That's one of my big regrets. Maybe that's that why I didn't become face, a NASCAR Maybe driver. that's why your face is so round and round and round. And round. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about NASCAR, Jimmy? You even um, have a NASCAR The Rex. Na- the Rex. Yeah, I love watching the Rex. That's wow. what we wait for. To wow. Watch 20 cars catch on fire. What is, the, what is the right amount of hardness to hit a woman? Like, what is the exact... <laughs> None. The chin. Zero. What, do you, what do you do? The chin? Do not hit women. You hit no. it like in the boobs so no. it doesn't leave a mark no. or something? Never. What's the Never. move here? No, you Never look like a, a fucking woman. professional. It's back no. of the head. You can't see the bruises no. on the back of the head. No. Yeah. What's the deal? You just hold them no. underwater? No? No. You're just saying no. You're not even listening. You like popcorn? Um. Yes, I like popcorn. <laughs> But no, no hitting women ever. No. All right. What, a, not. what about putting out cigarettes on little kids? <laughs> no, I don't smoke, so I, I don't have to worry about that. Why I'm, do you think you look like the kind of guy that would do that? I don't know. <laughs> why do you? Why? Why? Why do you think you look like? Why do you think you look like the biggest Munchkin from Oz? <laughs> I don't know.
Why, 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 why does it look like you put Jack Daniels in your cereal? Yes, that might be true. You, that might be true. You agree to that one. What do you do? Uh, how long have you been? What's, what's your deal with stand-up? I, I feel like the answer could be fucking anything. I feel like you could be doing it for 20 years or first time. First time. Get the fuck out of here. Time. Because of you and your show, I study it. Thank you. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. How did you find I'm out about this show? Watching Joe Rogan. You were on there a couple of times. Yeah. I didn't listen the first couple of times, yeah. but then, like, the second Thanks or third time, like, let me check this out. Straight I mean, up. I mean, this I Joe guy just kept having this Tony guy back, and I was like, all right, I guess I'll give him a shot. Yeah, I think that's how it works. The first time I watched the show, I was hooked, and yeah. I, I literally watch it live every week. I love your show. You guys are awesome. Wow. Well, speaking of hooked... Captain Hook is uh, right behind you right now, so... All right, well... I wish Jeremiah... Uh, I'm not... Uh, Joel Her- Her- Hermenez was here. Joel Hermenez. I love him. <laughs> I don't think he got enough credit for Europe. He killed in Europe, dude. I was oh, yeah. watching the Europe show. Joe Burr. There you go. He was killing in Europe, and you guys didn't even, like, mention it. He I- killed over there. I love the way there. you pretend you like Mexicans. <laughs> I do. I like Mexican. Jimmy, tell us more about you. You're such an interesting guy. What are some other fun facts about Jimmy? What's your job? I am assistant kitchen manager. For wow, okay, maybe you do like Mexicans after all. Yeah, yeah. My name is Pinchy Wedo, and no matter what kitchen I work in, that's my name. Hell yeah. Is that, is, is that where all the suicide jokes come from? No, it's just one night somebody was saying, like, don't kill yourself is not the thing to do. And I'm like, you don't really know that, yeah. technically. <laughs> technically, I'm always a contrarian. I always like to look at the other side of things. Like, technically, you don't know that's true. Really. So you're a religious guy. No. No, that's I'm not a, I'm a, a Libra. religion, Brian. I'm a, I like to look at both things. Depends what religion. Sides. I'm a contrarian. Oh, wow, you guys worship on Wednesdays? Yes. <laughs> you might have there 72 virgins waiting for him, right? Huh? No. Darky, darky. Um, so, uh, Jimmy, what else? I want to know every single thing about you. <sighs> well, I like to ride motorcycles. You do? Yep. You look like you have a beer koozie collection. <laughs> I, I do have a couple. Wow. I do have a couple of beer koozies from some places I went to that are yeah. really out of the way places, and they gave me a beer. Co- and I hold did on, keep them. On. That's Let true. Me guess. That's true. Let me guess. Can- That's true. Cancun, Mexico, Cancun, Mexico, and Houston, Texas. Wow. I- Houston, Texas. Yes. Wow. wow. Yes. 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 Dude, I can fucking I can read you like a yes. koozie. You, you got me. You know, the best thing about a beer koozie is you can throw your beer at a woman. It bounces off their face. No bruises. I don't know about that. That's right. If you want no bruises, use your koozie. He said that? That's what we always say. I have that bumper sticker. Never that. Wow. (laughs) Never that. No, 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 never, never, never. You think we're the cops? Me too. No. All right. Well... I'll tell you, man. Uh, it's amazing Jimmy, for your first time, man. Yeah. Really, yeah. truly great. I appreciate it. I study you guys. Really do. You have I, to do it again, man. You have yeah. to do it I'll again. I'll be in Chicago, it. and I'll be in Kansas. Beautiful. Well, I'll I tell you, you this. Guys, man. I'll tell you this. You said it. The way you got my attention and all of our attention and locked it in, you, were, you nailed it on the head when you said that you're a wow, contrarian. Wow, so much to me, and, that, and, you know, it's, you know, keep looking at the other side of things, and the same thing that led you to that interesting suicide joke. I can't wait to see more. Thank there he you. goes, Jimmy Stealth, everybody. <laughs> Boom. Just did it. He's on Twitter at Mad Diggity. All one word. Wow. Ben Wade was the fake of Ben Wade. He's coming to Chicago. He's going to be in Lawrence, Kansas. Mm-hmm. A lot of crazy okay. dates coming up. You guys having fun out there? You get the show? Was I right? Do you think you can do it yet? Dick Cheney, you think you can perform yet? You think you got 60 seconds up there? No? I'm going to check in with you in a bit. You keep thinking. (laughs) Keep writing. Because if you close this show, this place is going to go fucking ballistic. You hear me? It's something. Start fucking thinking. All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Matthew Johnson, everyone. Come on. Here we go. Anything can happen. 
Matthew Johnson. Here he comes. Wow. Look at this. He does not want to come up, you can tell. Here he is, good and loud for Matthew Johnson. All right. It's my first time doing stand up. Real nervous. Kind of like losing my virginity, just a little less bloody. So that's about as uh, far as I prepared for tonight. Uh, I'm 23. I'm a millennial. I live in my parents' basement. I get caught masturbating about once a week. So I got that going for me. Uh, yeah. What's up? I don't have any jokes about suicide. That was pretty funny. Didn't think that one was going to hit. All right, all right. All righty. So uh, 60 seconds is a pretty fucking long time. <laughs> Woo! Heart's beat. There you go. There you go. A bunch of sound effects there. Here's the the kitty. Matthew Johnson. Matthew, who signed? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Matthew, uh, who signed you up tonight? Uh, see, whoa. My buddy called me. He's like, hey, we're going to a comedy show. I was like, oh, that's cool, you know. And then we get here. He's like, oh, you know, sign your name. I was like, all right, you know, what, what is this, like a raffle or something? He's like, oh, no, you get called up. And I was like, whoa, whoa. So, like, what's in it for me? So I'll give you 20 bucks. And, you know, I got a tight ass. I'm into 20 bucks. So I'll take 20 Your buddy bucks. gave you 20 bucks to sign up? Yeah, and, and a free ticket, and I ate the leftovers of their food. And <laughs> like I said, I'm a millennial, so what's up? Wow. Did he sign up? No, no. Your friend paid you $20 for you to sign up? <laughs> yeah. And he didn't have the balls to sign up? I you know guess what? Not. Why don't we do this? Why don't you take a step back? <laughs> Bobby! You take Bobby! a step back. And Matthew, bring him, bring him up. Intro- Bobby, Bobby, get Matthew, your ass Matthew, up here. Matthew, 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 Bobby. Matthew, listen to me. Listen to me. Please welcome to the stage, there you go. Bobby Kelly. Yeah. Gotta do it. Gotta do it, Bobby. You done fucked up, baby boy. Oh, Your up? turn. Go. Turn. Do it. I don't have any jokes. What do you mean you don't have any jokes? Uh. <laughs> Give it a fucking try. Just look out there. No excuses. Do it. Uh. I don't have any jokes. I'm Just sorry. fucking try it. Just look out there and say something. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> oh, you fucking I can't pussy. Do it. <laughs> what are you going to pay 20 bucks to get out of it? I know. I'm not, I'm not Here. Story. We I'm could do this. We could do this together. Matthew, look out. Look at this fucking chubby Matthew McConaughey. Oh, man. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I know you want to do this. If you could do it, you would do it, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So here's, what, I can. here, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> no, you can. I believe in you. Here's what we're going to do. He's going to bring you up one more time, and you're going to do everything. I'm going to whisper stuff into your ear, and then you're going to just... Okay. But, you have, but don't look at me. You have to look out there confidently, right in these fuckers' eyes. Okay. And okay. you just say what I whisper into your ear okay. as we go. All right. All right? Let's do it. So you, bring, you just say his name one more time. You hit music, and then we start. Here's a St. Louis native, a Baldwin <laughs> County boy, Bobby Kelly. <laughs> I am a big faggot. (laughs) Knock, knock. 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 Me, I'm a big faggot. (laughs) There you go, you fucking did it, dude. Uh, now you have to stay up here and get interviewed. I, ha- <laughs> I have an uh, I have Jack an uh, the Ripper. Yeah, I have an idea that this guy had a ghostwriter. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Uh, so, Bobby, what happened here tonight? You've been a fan of the show for a while? Yeah. You brought your innocent... Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to find my biggest fucking slowest meathead friend. I'm going to give him 20 bucks and I'm going to watch the fucking insanity happen. You're just living your own little fucking... 1% lifestyle over there. I didn't explain it to him at all either. Just exploiting your friends. Jack the Ripper. Yeah, he looks like if Boss Baby became a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I love it. Uh, what do you do, Bobby? I'm a car salesman. Really? Yeah. Wow, I love that. Well, try to sell me a car right now. What kind of cars do you sell? Cheap cars. Yeah? All right. Well, I don't think that's a good uh, start. Uh, why don't you try to sell me a car? This is, a, this is a part of this show we like to call Sell Me a Car. What kind of car are you looking for? Uh, cheap one. Cheap one? Yeah. All right. I bought Someone this. Someone to told me that if I come here, there's a, there's a, a cheap car salesman that uh, signs his friends up for shows. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I just got this Dakota in. It's a 2000... Dakota with 190,000 miles on it. Super rusty, but I bought it for 50 bucks. Wow. Uh, I'm willing to sell it for 200. You know, you remind me wow. of a huge faggot I once Huge met. faggot? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now, you sell that cheap of cars, like $200 cars? No, no. like $15,000 and less. Okay. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> cool. 15000 or less. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my God! Wow! Is that your? Is that your? That's girl? my girlfriend. That's your girlfriend. Yeah. She's giving the shout out to the oh, business. Yeah. She should definitely come up too. Wow! <laughs> should we get the whole fucking white? Oh yeah! Whoa! Come on, Anna! <laughs> hey, what does she look like? Let's see. She's the blonde right by the pillar. Yeah, you know what? You bring her up. Bring her okay, up. Okay, come on. Let's, Let's go. Here we go. We're going to have the whole fucking retarded Brady Bunch up here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, I'm Anna, and I'm a huge faggot. <laughs> All right, you guys all get the hell out of here. Go to Kelly Motors if you want a cheap car. Talk to fucking Bobby Kelly. There goes Matthew Johnson. There goes Anna, everyone. This show's off the tracks right now. It's the only show where we can actually say the words huge faggot because anybody that, uh, anybody that listens to this show or knows the show that is gay uh, literally would be like, oh, he, he signed up his friend? That is a huge fag move, so... Like and like. By the way, San Francisco is our uh, our biggest <laughs> market. So, oh Jesus, ha ha, haters. We can, we we have a pass on the F word. Next week, who who knows? Next time we come back to St. Louis, we might be able to use the N word. Anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for Courtney Tharp, everyone. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Courtney Tharp, Courtney, Courtney Tharp, Courtney, Courtney Tharp. Here she is, everyone, Courtney Tharp. One more time for Courtney Tharp. Um, hey. Uh, so I'm not a comedian at all, um, and my fiancé signed me up, and I've never listened to your guys' podcast, and I didn't know that you were going <laughs> to call people up to do stand-up, um, so I... Have no jokes prepared. Um, but my fiance made a joke the other night <laughs> before bed. He came into the room and was like, lights were out, and I was in bed and I was sleeping. He was like, babe, like it was like that good that he wanted to wake me up and tell me, like, I just thought of this joke. And it's not a great joke. <laughs> but <laughs> since he signed me up, I'll tell it. Because um, a lot of people in the room know him. <laughs> And he was like, okay, here's the joke. You know, technology these days, <laughs> it's 
moving along and advancing so quickly. You know, I'm just wondering when the day's going to come, somebody's going to be like, Honey, I shrunk the kids! <laughs> I hate you, I hate your fiancé, I hate your children. I hope... I hope your house gets infected by black mold. Yeah. And then it starts in your... yeast infections, thrush. Yes, thrush. Uh, Courtney, what, uh, do you always let your fiancé sign you up for things that uh, you're I, not well, he able said, to do? He said, drive fast and... What is that? Make, make hard choices. Or... Well, well, but he didn't sign up? He didn't sign up, no. But so, he signed you up? Yeah. What is happening here? I know. I don't want to like do this to you guys. I show, don't understand. But, like yeah. how many, how many, how many, how many other people signed people up here tonight that? It was didn't know? the sign up sheet was right next to the poster, and so it kind of looked like you were signing up for a poster. But he knew he wasn't signing you up for a poster, yeah, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This is p- Jesus. Yeah. Listen to that hateful lady yeah, back yeah. there. <laughs> It's someone that's them. Someone just wants to have a cat fight tonight. I like that. <laughs> Courtney, you ever been in a fight with someone before? Um, not that I can remember. How long? Uh, w- w- I don't understand. Uh, how long have you been with uh, the guy that signed you up tonight? Uh, three years. Three years. What does he do? Uh, he. <laughs> <laughs> he does marketing. And- and social media and design and events and... When, when you said that a lot of people know him here, what does that mean exactly? Uh, he runs a comedy festival here. Uh-huh. <laughs> and he didn't have the balls to sign up? No. No. You know what, Courtney? I don't even want to promote this guy's comedy festival because it's not anything that we're part of. And and it seems like he must not have that great of a sense of humor to sign up his poor innocent wife and put a dent in a show (laughs) where probably 50 or 60 people signed up for a legitimate, you know, reason. I have people like fucking, I got people like fucking Jimmy Stealth coming up here and crushing and, you know, I don't understand. So I'm well, not sure he knew what the podcast was either. Well, then it's defi- then it's definitely not that good of a comedy festival. We're just gonna get you out of here. I'm sorry your husband did that to you, and that you have to spend the rest of your life with him now. There she goes, Courtney Tharp, everyone. <laughs> there you go. Some guy that runs a comedy festival. Always the festival runner, never the comedian. Yeah. Goes to show his killer sense of humor, signing up his unfunny wife for the show. Wow. Be sure to go check out that fucking wacky St. Louis comedy festival. I mean, and that was his joke, that that hilarious joke. So, you know. What if we actually (laughs) drink the kids? (laughs) Whoa! Whoa! Jesus fucking Christ. Pulled another name out of the bucket. Let's see how loud this place can get for the great John Holtgreve. John Holtgreve. Come on, guys. Make some fucking noise for John Holtgreve. In a fever dream during the great influenza, Ed Gallagher briefly saw 100 years into the future. Now, after being buried deep in the bowels of Fort Knox for nearly a century, we present to you the lost tapes of Gallagher and Sheehan on Edison Records. Oh, Mr. Gallagher! Oh, Mr. Gallagher! Did you see that thing Trump tweeted just last night? Lord, no! Uh, (laughs) He said... uh, uh, Oh, God, I lost it. Uh, (laughs) He said Kim Jong-un is slight, and if he were in a fight, he would beat him in the head with a big brass pipe. Oh, Mr. Sheen, oh, Mr. Sheen, why don't you put away that tiny little screen? While you're frittering all day, there are so many games to play. Table tennis, Mr. Gallagher, pocket pool, Mr. Sheen. Wow. John Holgrave. 
clocking in at exactly one minute. This is incredible. Uh, for those of you listening to the podcast, John is uh, uh, a, uh, it appears to be, am, I, am I right? You are blind. Legally blind, yes. Legally blind, hell yeah. yes. Legally blind and legally blonde as well. Indeed. Uh, for a second, I thought you were Anna Ferris up here. Oh, yes. But uh, there you go. Uh, so, John, let's talk about it. Um, how long have you been blind for? Uh, my entire life. Your entire life. Yeah, 32 it's odd years. So. 32 years. Yes, very odd years. Heck yeah. yeah. So, uh, so you came out blind. Yeah. So out of everybody that's been up here tonight, somehow you found your way to the stage easier than everybody. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I called his name. He was up here in eight seconds. I, I didn't see a zip line here, but... Uh, it's called years of mobility training do help, my friend. Man, that's incredible. <laughs> you, you should be these other people's seeing eye dog. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a seeing eye dog, John? Uh, no, I don't. No, no you no. just go straight up. What do they call that? Stick shift? Uh, yeah, we could do You could call it that, yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. More, uh, more automatic than stick, though. You know, I, just, I, I use this as an affectation most of the time. I'm like Guy Caballero from SCTV. I use it for respect, you know? Yeah, fuck yeah. Finally, a guy up here that admits to beating women. <laughs> a lot of these guys earlier were turning a blind eye to me on that. But well, I you know, know, I mean, that. use what you got, right? Heck yeah, I love it. Uh, so, John, fuck, this is so interesting. I believe you're the first uh, blind guy that we've ever had on this show. No. How did, how did, no. You know? We had a blind guy before? Yeah, in Houston, Texas. Remember? Yeah, that, yeah that's right. I do yeah. sort of remember that. Well, uh, how did you find the show, literally and metaphorically? Well, you know, you can. Uh, there, there are m- m- there's a, a multitude of accessibility options, especially on, uh, on on Apple products. So it's pretty Fuck easy. Yeah. To, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, do you do do, uh, do you have a do you have a job? Do you work? Uh, yeah, I actually run a vending company. So run a vending oh, company. Cool. Yeah. Wow. What what do you, what do you do? Just fucking cash in the quarters? Well. <laughs> That's part of it, actually. Yeah. That's, a, that's a big part of it. I, 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 you just, I know. You I just hear how many we, quarters there are. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, like about seven bucks to me. We've got, we got, we got talking counters actually. But uh, I, no, I, I, I actually manage a, a contract for the state of Illinois. I have about sixty machines that I run, and I have two employees working for me. I own a vehicle, and blah blah blah. So. Wow, hell yeah. Do your employees get a? Uh, they get away with a lot, don't they? Uh, no, I got checks and balances. Trust me. Oh, heck yeah. yeah strings tacked. That uh, change is going to come. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. What kind of vending machines? Like soda machines? Soda, soda machines, snack machines, cold food machines, you know, the whole bit. So. Wow, I love that. Yeah, those lovely rotating machines with the, you know, the sandwiches and stuff that everyone's kind of afraid to use until they're really desperate. So. But you're not afraid. Oh, I'm not afraid. Never oh, afraid. No. I, yeah. I eat all that, yeah. I eat all, even, even the stuff that's left over for weeks, I'll still eat. So. Heck yeah. <laughs> wow, that's incredible, John. It's full of soy, what's, man. Come on. What's the oldest thing you've ever eaten before? Uh, I'd say about a week or t- maybe maybe two weeks. Oh, maybe. my God. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's incredibly I guess disgusting. If you, I guess if you can't see it, you don't care. Well, you know? exactly. like, this is good fucking cheese, you, right? You know, it's <laughs> only if you can taste the mold. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, it's shit. Wow. John, <laughs> uh, what else about being, how else has being blind affected your life? Any other fun facts about you, like your the only blind uh, rollerblade racer or something no, like that? No, no, sadly, sadly. I did, uh, a family friend of mine actually uh, was a, uh, a totally blind and she, she biked across Europe. Really? Oh, wow. yes. She biked across Europe? Yeah. Man, I, I, that's incredible, especially making it over the English Channel. Uh, <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, it's easier these days, though. They built that channel, so, you know. Well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, John, what else? What, are, what else are you into? Um, I don't know. I mean, this, uh, I believe a relatively boring life just you know how long have you been running the vending place uh for uh, almost four years now so. oh cool That's a fuck you know we job. used to we used to rip those uh vending machines off as a kid we did a thing called magic dollar i don't know if you guys know about this you take clear <laughs> packing tape and you tape it to the end of the very end of a buck and then you put the dollar in and yank it out and you get you get a credit and you just get change and we just filled our cars up with like Coca-Cola and cigarettes and wow, quarters. There you go. These, um, by the way, now you can see the type of people you were stealing from. Yeah. Right? <laughs> this is what it looks like. Look into his eyes. Look into his eyes. <laughs> Enjoy those nightmares tonight. <laughs> I love it. Now that's a. Let me ask, a, let me that's ask, a 
That's a laugh on that one right there. That, that, that is a laugh. The trick, the trick hasn't been able to work for years. They put the little, you know, the little thing at the end so it cuts off the bill. So. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Is there a, uh, is there like a place where blind people go to meet other blind people? Is there like a fucking like catfish yeah, bar well, out there well, somewhere? Well, you know, I, I went to, I actually went to a, um, a kind of a, an adult rehabilitation center when I trained for this program that I'm in yeah. and it was like people just getting drunk and hooking up all over the place because that's just what you do you live there what the fuck right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, everybody but, every, when you're drunk everybody uh, looks the same exactly but it goes by <laughs> smell right like, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah yeah <laughs> is there a, like a gay dating app for blind people like Blinder or something like that <laughs> <laughs> no no is that it'd a be, thing? It'd be pretty. It'd be pretty easy. Though. You wouldn't have to post a picture, right? I mean, as long as as long as you could pretend long enough, you could troll the son of a bitch pretty easy. <laughs> John, you you just here. print out sheets of braille of exactly, the face. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. John, you're from here in St. Louis. Uh, I'm actually from an hour and a half south of here. Hour so. and a half south of here. Yeah. What is an hour and a half south of here? Chester, Illinois, home of Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> well, blow me down. Hold on a second. <laughs> Illinois is south of here somehow. Yes. Yes. I'm from Chicago, and I had no idea until I moved down there. Illinois so. is <laughs> south of here. I guess it's which way you're looking at. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait. wait a second. Who the fuck am I asking here? <laughs> That's hilarious. I literally fell for that. <laughs> it's not south of here. You're blind. Hey, the <laughs> what the fuck? I've it been told. I hear tell it's south of here. Has anybody ever asked you for directions and they're like, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the North Pole goes south. All right. Well, the sad thing is that when you're a pedestrian, you're actually more reliable than the sighted people. It's true. You do have the right of way out here in this That's country. That's very true. I yeah. was going to ask you what, uh, what the best barbecue in town is because I know that your uh, sense of taste must be stronger than everybody I else's. I am absolutely agnostic on this subject. So. Well, you don't eat barbecue? Not so much, no. Really? What is your favorite food? But you um, believe that there is food. barbecue though, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I believe in the possibility okay, of so, good barbecue. Okay, yes. then I don't yes. know if you're agnostic. Yes. Then. That's I the don't second know. step, right? Okay, you I'm just saying that there's yeah, exactly. a chance. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what is something that uh, what is something that you is there a reason why you don't like barbecue? No, it's, it's just you ever a have a preference. bad experience. No, you, find, you, no, ever, I didn't you ever know. find something no, in your food that you didn't no, like? No, no. Yeah, he doesn't like ribeye. Yeah. Doesn't like what? He doesn't like ribeye. <laughs> Freaks him out. He's like, why, why do ribs have eyes and I don't have two to wear? <laughs> That's not fair. And they're cooking it up and giving it to people. Come on. I need those eyes in my... Come on. <laughs> ribeye. Oh, my God. Oh, well, yeah. I have no idea what the fuck you talked about tonight, by the way. I couldn't decide. It was a, was it, it was it a reference yeah, what, to an old vaudeville act from about really, 100 years uh, ago. You, you, <laughs> when you were writing, you definitely didn't. Uh, it seems like you crossed your I's and dotted your T's instead right. of. Uh, <laughs> it's called knowing my audience, and my audience is centenarians. So, you What's know. that? Yeah. yeah, what are centenarians? People 100 years old. People 100 years yeah. old. Oh, yeah. that's me. I love that. <laughs> Centenary. Love that. Well, I'll tell you, man. So fucking interesting. How long you been doing stand up? Um, this is my first time in about four years. I did it for six months back when I was, lived up in Chicago. So. There you go. Well, I'll tell you, John. I mean, fucking, you know, no reason for you to not be doing it, dude. You have, uh, you probably have a lot more to talk about than. Well, you definitely have more to talk about than half the people that were up here tonight. <laughs> uh, Thank you. And uh, it's amazing. The fuck did you just say? Bunch of assholes over there. I didn't realize they had Raider fans in St. Louis. This is crazy. Oh, no, he didn't! Listen to that thick Latino accent here in St. Louis. I was not expecting that. I think we should maybe build a wall from separating that part of the... Anyway, I, don't, I wouldn't want them to build a wall because we know we would run into it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, John, and I mean, you know, I'm sure you probably like got picked on and shit as a kid, right? You probably get bullied sometimes, right? You learn to internalize and ignore it. That's all. Say that again? You just learn to internalize and ignore sure. it. Sure. Well, I'll tell you this, though. This is a great outlet for you. And, you know, you're, you're putting all those other people that would pick on a guy like you to shame 
by coming out and living your life and fucking driving an hour and a half, taking a chance at hoping to get on, coming out, executing, and then killing through the interview portion. So enjoy the rest of your night. There he goes, the magical John Holtgrieve, everybody. Come on. Wow, John, standing ovation, standing ovation. He did it. Oh God, the girl's taking off her top. Wow. wow. Big areolas on that Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All the ladies are showing their oh tits God. at once. We've never seen it. Pussy juice flying everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> my goodness. And you know, if you ever lose your vision due to anxiety or anything, Infinite CBD offers the cleanest, healthiest, purest form of CBD lo- available. Yeah. It's becoming more and more popular. I mean, literally, people are, uh, you know, we had Louis J on and everything. There's a whole culture of Infinite CBD superfans, people that have given up on pain pills and their addictions, and this stuff actually freaking works, and it's completely legal. Yeah, it's great. Research shows that CBD has helped people who are blind, chronic pain, inflammation, anxiety, blind, and more. Yeah. <laughs> CBD actually stands for, uh, you know... Uh, yeah. Can't uh, blind... Can, uh, thank uh, you, Brian. Yes, yeah, just interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It stands for that. Can't blind disorder. Uh, research shows CBD helps everyone who has chronic pain, inflammation, anxiety, and more. You can go to infinitecbd.com. There's a lot of products that will help improve your life. And if you use the promo code TONY15, you're going to get 15% off. Yeah. So one more time, that's infinitecbd.com. Use TONY15, get 15% off, and uh, use something healthy for your life. PM pills, topical cream, AM pills with a little bit of caffeine. Get your day started in a healthy way. Infinitecbd.com. Oh. Won't help out with blindness at all. What was that? Won't help out with blindness at all. Asterisk. Yes. We were, <laughs> yes. We, uh, just to let you know, we were joking about the blindness. Everything else was statistically correct except for the blindness. Back to the show. All right. Back to the bucket. What are you guys thinking, huh? Let's do it. Let's all do it together. Man, even the lady that hates Emo's pizza is having fun now. This is exciting. Uh, Can I get a Jack and Diet, please? Do you want anything? There you go. Uh, Sure, I'll take a Crown and Coke. Could I get the blood of an innocent child, please? All right, pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for your next comedian, Ron Finger, everyone. Ron Finger. Wow. Another bald guy with a beard. Hey, Ron Finger. Hey, who saw that coming? Is it is it ironic that Jack the Ripper looks just like Kenny G? Hey, they're both big pussy slayers. Yeah, no, what? No. Fun fact, um, if you go out to eat, if you eat at restaurants, you eat about uh, 12 pubes a year. So that means that like, there's a lot of pubes getting eaten here tonight. Like every, one out of four people is eating a pube. I, didn't think, I, thought, I thought that was like a low number because that's like my average Tinder date. You know, I, maybe 24 sometimes. But you know what that really means is that they got to change the, uh, the words to the Big Mac song. Yeah, it's like, because it's really, it's all, the Big Mac song is all about accuracy. It's two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun, and sometimes pubes. (laughs) Is that, (laughs) how many seconds do I have left, Red Man? There you go, there you go. All right, hey, Wu Tang! Wow, there you go, Wu Tang. There you go. So, Ron Finger. Uh, yes, sir. There you go. I mean, how do you feel about that right there? What just happened here? Uh, not, you know, not good. Like most things, I, you know, I look like this, so I don't really you feel good. You look like a combination of everyone that's been on the stage tonight <laughs> smashed together. You can't teach that, Tony. No, you, you can't, can't teach that. No, you can't. Uh, so Ron, how do you get a name like Ron Finger? Is that your real uh, is that your real name, or did you get that uh, from uh, hanging out with little girls? Yeah, you look like a toe. Oh, uh, that's Ron Finger. Look out! Keep your daughter away from him. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, yeah. I, uh, little girls. Um, Wait, uh, what? Doctors. Oh. 
everybody's got fingers, right? I, I mean, it seemed like a common, you know, kind of a anything, I, something that everybody could relate to. I guess so. Uh, why do you look like a pro wrestler that only wrestles alcoholism? <laughs> Because I don't really look good in a singlet. Uh, I see what you did there. What do you do for work, Ron? I'm a personal trainer. <laughs> Stop it. No, no. Stop it. Curse? It's, true. it's true. It's true. I mean, all I got to do is I show up and I go, hey, you don't want to look like this? Come on. Do Ron. some push-ups. Ron, Ron, you, you do that next time you get pulled out of the bucket. Okay, okay. Let's talk about your real life here. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm, a, I'm an arborist. You're a what? An arborist. What is that? I, I work with trees. I work with trees. That's cool. Like, what exactly do you do with trees? Like plant trees, make sure trees are okay. Are, make sure, are, are I, you I an arborist? I know all about that. Yeah, yeah, damn, you guys are all built That's... exactly the same? <laughs> Tell me, Ron, since you're an arborist, what an arborist does with trees. I keep trees out of gangs. Um, oh, my God. I teach them to read. Oh, my God. It's, it's St. Louis, man. It's St. You don't ever know what a tree's going to do around here. Oh, my God. Oh, man, he's forcing another bit into the interview. I know. It's unbelievable. <laughs> this is the guy that fucking signed up for fucking groundlings. Now he's fl- up here flexing. Come on, Ron. What? An- an- I mean, dude, answer, it, answer it's, the... pretty, it's pretty straightforward. You look at trees, and then you cut them down, and then so you, you tell people. you cut them down. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's cut them down, plant them. There you go. Uh, give them cigarettes. Yeah. Oh, you did it again. Ah, God damn it. it. You can't help yourself. No, I'm terrible. So, I'm, Ron, tell I'm a us whore. more about your real life without trying to be funny. Just tell okay, us more, more about, about you. Uh, I live in a haunted house. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with this guy? It's true. I fucking live in a haunted house, We're man. Haunted I, about why don't your you house? believe that? I believe that your floors creak, but I think it's because you're fat. <laughs> yeah. I think the sound of heavy breathing in the middle of the night is you. I think the monster under your bed is a sandwich you left there months ago. No I, way, no way. I never I think made he, a sandwich. I think he hears growls in the middle of the night and it's his stomach. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I'm a fair person. I'm never hungry. Wow. Ron, why, is you, why do you say your house is haunted? Because there's a ghost there. Yeah, uh, what, do, what yeah. do you see? What does it do? Does it eat your food in the middle of the night? <laughs> that, that we'd have a problem then. Yeah. No, no, it just says stuff like, the house is haunted. That's what the ghost said? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. I didn't say it was a smart ghost. You're telling me that a spirit from the underworld is coming up just to let you know this house is haunted. Yeah. Right. And you're like, what, 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 uh. what do you need? Do you need help? He's like, that's all I need to tell you. This place is haunted. Does it sound a lot like one of your buddies trying to not laugh at the same time? Ron, uh, it's me, a ghost. Uh, your house is haunted. Uh. It's not too far from that. It's All pretty right, close. Ron, I don't think. Uh, what do you do for fun? What are you into? What do you, um, do, you do? You do? You look uh, like hockey. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What kind of hockey? The kind where. Uh, uh, the kind that you watch you, on TV and drink beer and the kind, go blues. The kind that uh, I had. You know, that, yeah, was, that I, was bad. You are a pandering fuck. I'm fucking terrible. <laughs> When you say hockey, what do you mean? You just like it because it's uh, made out of ice? Yeah, because like I'm a fat person, and ice makes me feel less hot and less sweaty. Right. It's a it's a cool sport, you know. I mean, it takes a lot of skill and uh, what's a, grace. What's a fun fact that we would be surprised to know about you, Ron? What's a fun fact about Ron that would surprise us? I'm a nice person. <laughs> yeah, like what you? What's the most recent nice thing you've done for somebody? Oh, well, <laughs> you know, I drove uh, a drunk person from St. Charles, which is way, way far away, all the way down to the city just to get laid. Wow. You yeah, drove, that you... was like, it was like a, like a $90 Uber ride, but I was like, I'm the Uber of, of, of sexual satisfaction, I guess. I was like, you got to... You got to get to that pussy. I'll, I'll deliver you. Wow. Was so it a, so it, you, you're the friend that's like, you're about to make a bad decision, but you're drunk. You can't get there. I'm going to take you there so you can still make that bad decision tonight. Amen, Jack. All right. It takes friends. It takes friends to make the world Did go Did you around. get to watch or anything? Or? Uh, you know, yes. <laughs> wow, look at that. I did. I did. I paid, though. Cut cold. All right. Well, Ron, uh, there's something about you that I can't stand. I can't quite put my finger on it. 
That's, you're, you that's seem very... like a likable guy, and I think you're just trying to have fun up here, but, uh, I'm, I, you know, I, it's just something I hate about you. I don't know what it is. <laughs> A lot of people that say that about me, by the way. You're not the first person. That's that pretty much everybody on earth. So, you know. Well, Ron. Uh, Thank you, Tony. I'm sorry I don't really feel bad for you. I've had uh, blind people and people that didn't even know that what they signed up for up here tonight. So, uh, I, I, I'm not, I, I can sort of, uh, I'm, I, I, I don't feel bad for you. I'm always happy to disappoint. Thank you. <laughs> Anything you could say to me to help uh, redeem uh, my, my, uh, Caring for you? A Bigfoot walks into a bar and he orders a beer and the bartender says, Bigfoot, why do they call you Bigfoot? And he says, because I hate the metric system. There you go. I hate him more. I hate you more than I did him a second ago. There goes Ron Finger, everybody. Ron Finger. All right, you guys want to go back to the bucket one more time, huh? All right, let's see what happens here. It's a deep bucket. I'd like to give a shout out. I like, I love that there's somebody, I'm pretty sure I know who it is, someone right over here that every time I pull a name out of the bucket and I say the name, he says, yeah, like it's him. Or like it's one of like his best friends that he's waited all night for. I love your energy, sir, and I appreciate you. Very cool. Watch, listen for it. I'm going to do it again right now. Make some noise for Ronaldo Mercado. <laughs> Ronaldo Mercado. Sounds like he came from this corner. There he is, Ronaldo. Thanks. I, uh, <laughs> thanks. I, uh, I got some really exciting news, guys. Uh, I just moved out of my mom's house. Yeah. Turns out grandma's house is way nicer. I had no, had no idea. It's great. I finally found a girl who cooks, cleans, and tucks me in for nappy poo time. It's great. I love her. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's finally starting to warm up a little bit in St. Louis. I, uh, I don't, I'm not really, I don't like the cold. I'm not meant for it, like genetically. I know that. I'm Mexican. I belong on the interstate selling citrus. You know what I mean? I don't. And a lot of people use, like, ancestry sites to figure out, like, you know, where you're compatible. I don't need 23 and me to let me know that I belong outside of Home Depot in Arizona, you know? <laughs> it's ridiculous. said, I'm, I'm Mexican. Uh, I was the only Mexican in my group of friends in high school. Uh, I also used to smoke a lot of weed, so they call me Hash Brown. <laughs> which, is, which is fine, because, like, I knew that they're my home fries, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Fuck yeah, Ronaldo Mercado. <laughs> Oh, holy shit. Wow, that was impressive. <laughs> they have Mexicans here. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, oh, there you go. That's a good first thought, Brian. You put that all together that whole time. <laughs> opening line. Lots of Mexicans here now. <laughs> Ronaldo, I I have loved. I I've missed you ever since the last episode of that '70s show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> impressive. Do, do people really Thanks. sell citrus by the road here in St. Louis? Do Mexicans no. really do that here? <laughs> no. No. Where it's warmer, I, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've never seen a Mexican do that before, have you? Not, he, no, not here. No, but nowhere. Have you ever seen it physically with well, your own like eyes? In, in Florida one time. Oh, you went to Florida. <laughs> one time. I went to Florida one, one time. time. And you yeah. saw a... Uh, Puerto Rican. Yeah. Well, I don't, yeah. I, but I, you're I, Mexican, right? Yeah, half. Right, half Mexican. What's the other half? W- white. Whoa, you see, <laughs> Jesus, I, I you said that wow. like it was black. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you said it like you were ashamed or something. <laughs> oh, white. <laughs> what do you do for work, Ronaldo? I, uh, I'm, I'm the supervisor of operations at the pageant in St. Louis. What's so. it? Wow, the place goes crazy. It's time for us to find out. What is the pageant? That's where, like, Tom Segura and Burt Kreischer play. Like, it's a rock. It's a rock venue. It's a rock venue. I didn't. No, no. I, didn't. I love that the crowd thinks that's a dig. By the way, Tom and Bert have been doing this ten years longer than me, fuckos. So, <laughs> looks like I still have a little bit of time. You fucking hating assholes. Segura was here four years ago. You fucks. Yeah. That's just for. Ref- reference. Yeah, yes. thanks, asshole. 
piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> my fucking piece is, of is shit. Your mo- is your mom Mexican your dad white? No, oh, my dad's Mexican. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> What does your dad do? Uh, he's a line cook at Hooters in Keener Plaza, like right, <laughs> right oh. down there somewhere. In, oh, you're looking yeah, at down, the map. Down, oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Which, the, which is the part of town where Tom Segur and Burt Kreischer play? <laughs> Surprises! I can't see them drawn on this fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, they're fat. <laughs> 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 But it looks, of it, it looks like your dad painted this, too. <laughs> I've seen wow. better arches on a dead hooker. <laughs> How long has your dad worked at Hooters? I don't know. Really? Yeah. I don't, I don't really so know. You if, you to, if you had to guess how long your dad's worked at Hooters. 15 years? What? Maybe? I don't know. I really don't know. That's and your parents incredible. are still together? No. Oh, no. But yeah. is, that, is that where he met your mom? What? Is that where you met your mom? Uh, I don't think so. Oh. That's, <laughs> that's where can I met Can we call him. one of them right now and ask I, them? I can call my mom. Let's yeah. do it. Let's call them. Let's do it. My, but don't tell her that you're on the show. Just okay. Everyone has to be quiet. And, too. and right. you have to put her on speakerphone. What do you want me to ask her? I wa- wait, 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 just don't hit send yet. Oh, okay. Did you already do it? Yeah, hold on. I already <laughs> hung up on it. Okay. okay. Uh, when you call her back, uh, just put her. Make sure you already have it on speakerphone. Make sure you have the microphone to the bottom end of the phone, and then say, you know, slow. Keep it nice and slow. You know, don't rush it. Say, mom, you know, there's something that I've always wanted to ask you. Did Did Dad meet you when he was working at Hooters, or was it before that? And if she says no, it wasn't at Hooters, uh, ask them uh, where they did meet. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Here we go. Right. Shh. Don't let that drunk guy in the middle room. I'm not available right now. Bye. Wait, 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 mom, 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 mom. Can At I talk? the tone, please record. <laughs> 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 I didn't know that was her yeah, voice. Your mom has wow. a caller ass voicemail yeah. message. That yeah. sounds like the voicemail of a lady that used to work at a Hooters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Hooters. That's incredible. Does your mom have uh, big boobies? Uh, no. 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 Well, no. well there, there's the answer right there. Really? No, well, I don't know. I don't know. That sometimes they have little itty bitty titty that's, girls at, uh, that's true. at the Hooters. The Guys raisins. are into that. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen a couple chicks there that look like Jack the Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> what about dad? Does your dad have a dad have a phone? You ever talk to? Your yeah. Dad? Does uh, your dad have big tits? <laughs> uh, no, I don't talk to him. You don't talk to him anymore. No, no, no. 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 What happened there? You just decided that it was uh, that it was uh, over between you and him. <laughs> was there something that happened that set it off? I, I literally, I, I like, I don't, I don't know him. That really, I met him at the Hooters. The first time we met was wow. at the Hooters. Really? What was that yeah. like? Yeah, it was weird. I had like just broken my leg. How, and, how uh, old were you at the time? Uh, probably like fifteen. Okay. Yeah, probably fifteen. Yeah, I broke I broke my leg, and my mom was like, wow. well, "Let's go down to Hooters, meet your dad. He'll buy us food it's, like for free." You know? He said, "Do you want to meet your dad?" And I was like, "All right, I guess so." And uh, I met him there. Wow, that's how you met your dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to say, I've lived a very sad and tragic <laughs> life. Most people don't know my story, but that brought me the tears right there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Jack the Ripper. <laughs> oh my goodness! Did you? Uh, did you? Were you? Did you cry when you met him, or was the? Was it a wet nap that you no. used to try to try the tears? I. Uh, <laughs> No, I don't know. I was like an awkward teenager, so I was like really awkward. I was just like, okay. Every 15-year-old's yeah. awkward their first time in Hooters, bro. It's like you don't know yeah. where to look and shit. Just like, oh, hey, Dad. How are you? Good to see you. Everybody's like the blind guy. Just, hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, my dad real cool. Who's that girl over there? <laughs> oh, yeah, totally, Dad. Son, Let's talk about the birds and the bees. I see you have a gigantic boner. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Did you get a boner your first time at Hooters? Uh, n- no. Yeah. <laughs> Come on so. now, yeah. Ronaldo. Yeah. You have a cool name, Ronaldo Mercado. Uh, yeah. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, stand-up I mean, comedian. Stand-up comedian. How yeah. long have you known stand-up You could also for? be a, a soccer player, a magician with that name. Yeah. Yeah. 
Australia. Anything. Ronaldo uh, Mercado. A vending machine <laughs> operator. <laughs> Uh, almost nine months. Almost nine months. You've been doing away. You're ready to come out of the womb. <laughs> um, How many kids do you have? <laughs> None, thankfully. Well, Zero. you be careful back there. Don't, don't you go cooking up babies like your dad did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's incredible. What did you get when you went to Hooters? Did it traumatize you? Have you had trouble eating buffalo chicken sandwiches ever <laughs> since then? <laughs> no, I got like a really big burger, and I remember my dad like made a comment like, oh, you have a big appetite. Like basically called me fat like because I was a fat kid. Oh. Yeah. That's how you ended up. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. He's trying to bond with you. He's trying to be a nice guy. Yeah. Was that the last time you saw him? Yes. Wow, so you never even gave him another chance. You're like, Dad, you know what? You could take you and all your big titted friends and get <laughs> yeah. the fuck out of my No, head. actually I forgot. He he hooked me up with like uh like my first car and he oh. gave me a car. Oh Where, my how he's... easily we forget. I, I forgot. I did, he did. He did. Who who did he steal it from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of his buddies probably something. Wow. What uh <laughs> what, what what kind of car was it? It was Wait, like no, a, I, know, I, I could just ask the person who sold it to him. <laughs> it was a, like a 2006 Honda Civic. 2000. <laughs> wow. That's good. Enough That's good. to take the whole family around for a drive. <laughs> Incredible. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Honda Civics are nice. Well, Ronaldo, anything else that, would, uh, that we would find interesting about you? What is it? How old are you again? Uh, 20. 20. 20 years old. Wow. That only happened to you five short years ago? <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. yeah. incredible. Yeah. 20 years old and you are. I want to adopt this child. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, tickle Jack. him. Tickle him, Thanks. Jeremiah. <laughs> Tickle him, tickle him. Yeah, he's tickling. I can tell he's a tickle. No tickling. Don't do it. Get him, get him, get him. 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 Des Moines, Appleton, Milwaukee, Chicago, Madison, Minneapolis, Poughkeepsie, New York, and San Francisco. On and on we go. Where Kill Tony ends, nobody yeah. knows. Jeremiah will be selling feminist Stacy, uh, I mean, a cat burglar stickers and magnets after the show. And he also has some CDs of his stand up on there. And also, don't forget, tickets available for this weekend. Yeah, uh, come see us do comedy, guys. Yeah, stand-up comedy. Long, uh, fun sets there. And, uh, yeah, thanks to Infinite CBD. Use the code TONY15. And at BetDSI, it's KILL120. Try Caveman Coffee. Uh, use Kill Tony, save 15%, have it delivered to you as well. Yep, yep. Hey. Hey. Thanks a lot, guys. Hey. Oh, wait, Jeremiah Watkins. Yes, and, and for a very limited time, you can get Feminist Stacy t-shirts at jeremiahwatkins.com. The pre-sale is almost over. Thank you so much. St. Louis, thank you. You guys were amazing. Good night. Good night.